Hey, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky and in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a hamburger menu icon in Adobe Illustrator. Now, you may have seen this on websites and apps. It's all over the place now and it is a very commonly recognizable symbol to indicate to someone that if you click this or tap this, that you will see a menu. There will be a list of items that you can choose from. And this is widely recognizable due largely to companies like Facebook, Google, YouTube, apps. It's just become the standard way now of showing that there will be a menu if you click or tap on that symbol. So with that said, we're going to create the hamburger menu item now in Illustrator. And we're not going to stray too far from the symbol because it is so widely recognizable, but we are going to explore a couple of slight variations just so we're not using the same menu icon exactly the same time and time again. So we're going to start by selecting our rectangle tool and we're just going to left click and drag something like this. And we're going to swap the fill and the stroke. So we just want to create a solid black rectangle for now. And then what we're going to do is left click and hold shift to drag directly downwards and hold alt. You'll see if I hold alt, it will bring up this secondary arrow here that indicates that I'm going to create a copy. And what I want to do now is let go. And then without pressing anything else, press command D on the Mac or control D on the PC, and it will replicate our last action in Illustrator. So now we've got our three lines all equally spaced apart. You can do four if you like. I have seen this done on some apps and sites before, but typically it's three. And you can adjust the spacing between these. So if I just pull this bottom one down, I can now select these other three, go up to the alignment options and then click vertical distribute center and it will automatically space them out. So there we go, that's a very basic menu icon. You'll see this quite commonly. What about if I want to round off the corners? If I don't want this kind of hard, hard edged aesthetic? Well, we can actually do this another way. We can use the line tool. And this is quite good because it gives you flexibility to adjust the width later on if you wish. So we've got the line tool. I'm just gonna left click and drag holding shift to create a perfectly horizontal line. And I'm gonna set a stroke color for this, not the fill color, because this is just an outline. And then I'm just gonna to go to my stroke palette and just bump up the weight to make that a bit thicker. Now just for comparison, I'm gonna make this a bit thinner than the example on the left, just to kind of show you how you can have a little bit of flexibility with coming up with different options while still keeping it relatively recognizable as a menu icon. So we'll go for something like 24, 24 point, I think. And we can quite simply just go to cap and select round cap and it will round those corners off. And similarly, as we did before, we just left click holding shift and alt and we drag down and then press command D on the Mac, control D on PC to repeat that last action. And there we go. We've got our rounded corner menu icon and like I said before we can select that and we can adjust the width as we need to but let's keep that one a bit thinner just so there's something to compare to okay the last one we're going to do we can literally copy this first one we did so if we just select everything and holding again shift and alt we'll copy this whole composition over to the right and for this what I'm going to do is just add, I think I'm going to make the height of each bar slightly less. So I've just selected everything and we're just going to drag upwards. That's the only downside to using fills rather than strokes is that it's not as easy to adjust the width. But that being said, it is still relatively quick to change. So I'm just going to select this bottom one now and holding Alt and Shift, just create a copy just to get that one there. And now, as we did before, we just want to space those evenly. So we'll select everything and go up here at the top, or you can find it in the Align palette. If you can't see the Align palette, just go up to Window, down to Align, and then select this here, and it will pop up. And the one you want is Distribute Vertical Center, so that's this shape here. 
and it will space them all equally apart. And now I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm just going to select these two anchor points on the right and using the arrow keys I'm just going to tap in. Or you can hold shift and use the arrow keys to move the anchor points in a bigger increment. And just do something like this. So it still indicates a menu of sorts but it's not having every bar exactly the same. And arguably this looks less like a, a hamburger than any of the others. This looks more like a hamburger when you try and eat it and the bun is just too small and the filling falls out and it just ends up as a big mess. But anyway, that is uh, another version that you can use even though it doesn't actually look like a hamburger. In fact, none of these really look like hamburgers. It's an utterly ridiculous name, but that is what it's sometimes referred to as, the hamburger menu. And there we go, we've drawn a few variations in Illustrator. So I hope this video tutorial was helpful guys. Uh, leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I will see you next time. Thank you.